Hello my dear beautiful bastards and welcome back to Fallout 4. Here we are with yet another mod from the same creator of Fort Samson and Lone Wolf Base. This is the Boston State Prison and I know you guys love prisons, you're big fans of prisons, I have gotten at least 7000 comments across the channel's lifetime regarding uh, prisons. I really don't understand why do you have uh, such an obsession with these places, but uh, here you go. Boston State Prison by a man who has proven himself to be the creator of some very very cool settlements so now we shall check out this one as well and this uh, Mirelurk Boom! Goodbye Mirelurk Hunter May your soul rest in the roses May your ever loving mother fucking body get absorbed by the roses here we are, this is a new land mass in this area, this does not exist in Fallout. All of this land mass has been erected out of nothing. And Paladin, where are you? Okay, here you are, kids. You gotta stop doing that. Stop teleporting all over the place. So now, we're gonna go check out the inner area. Is this a door? This is a door that unlocks through a terminal, so it is, it seems rather safe. Definitely. And this is the security room, right? The security room that unlocks the doors. Possibly a remote door control. Aha. Aha. See? Unlock outer door and open inner door. Wait a second. Before we go inside, let's just check out this area over here. So this is the other entrance. The opposite entrance to that one over there. And now, I didn't show you where this is. This is up here. Now, uh, I don't really know this place. It's close to the to the cannery and the Museum of Witchcraft, I guess, near this island. So, I have not spent much time here, so I don't actually know much about this place. All I know is what I see. And I see a whole lot of shit and piss. So, we're gonna go up here, see, I guess this is a, a helipad, perhaps, yes or no, or maybe, yes. A helipad, that uh, is used for helicopters, because that is what a helipad is. I mean, it looks proper, it looks like something that would exist, definitely. And we can also take these stairs up. I mean, look, it's just... It's proper. What can I say, man? It looks awesome. And this up here is... I suppose this is just a little Outlook area. And a not Microsoft Outlook. I'm just saying, like an Outlook Outlook area. And here we have another door. Is it closed? Yes, it requires the terminal. It's very cool that he connected the doors to the terminals. That is uh, something that... Every prison should have, you know, doors connected to terminals. So this Terminal is... Only. Did I not open? Did I not open you? You dirty... Oh. Oh-ho! A security guy that died. Let me take that steam pack from you. You don't need that. Oh, so th that is actually... You know what I would do now? Start adding little notes and shit. Please be careful. Something is going on in the world. Maybe new prisoners are gonna come. Uh, something like that. Because it is easily possible to make this prison seem like it went to shit when the bombs exploded. So, basically what you can do, you can make it seem like it was left alone after the explosion. So you can add different uh, things to the terminals, different things to the de decomposing bodies, you know, notes and different keys and stuff. And that would create, uh, you could create not only a, a settlement and a location, you could create a lot of extra meaning to the place. And that is just something that, that I find very interesting. Unlock outer door. Excuse me, do I have to become a god to get this working? What the hell are you doing, paladin? So Boston State Prison. Ha, huh, nice. But it's, it oh, appears as though... The terminal isn't opening shit. So we must uh, cheat our way through. Cheat our way through. I'm gonna unlock it myself. 
open. Thank you. We're gonna pretend like it was opened using the using the terminal. And this is the inner door. Yes. This is the inner door that also requires a terminal. So instead of a terminal, we're simply gonna unlock it. Please unlock this. No, no, no. Don't unlock Paladin Dance. I don't wanna unlock Paladin... How do you... Unlock Paladin Dance? Paladin, what have I done to you? Did I unlock some hidden potential within your body? That would be uh, quite curious. Here we go. Now I have unlocked the door. Thank you very much. So, I, I, I'm pretty certain that my mods are kind of conflicting. They are ruining things. Because I have a lot of mods. I have like 150 mods installed. So, they are probably conflicting all over the place. So, this is the, the initial entrance. Oh. It's actually quite nice. So, this door is locked as well. All of the locked doors everywhere. You know, Paladin, I, I would just prefer if you would stay locked somewhere, you know, to be honest. So, hey, go ahead. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna send over you over here. here. Can you please just stay there while I inspect this initial area? Just go Move there. Here. Got it. Thank you. And stay there. Just stay there, stop moving so much for crying out loud and let me do my job. So, open this door. Let's see. Aha. Aha. This is the security area. Terminal is not working. All right. Security area. This All of this is empty and can be edited. Obviously. Resti restricted access. Nice. Now, I should mention this is an actual settlement, as everything else is from this mod creator. It is possible to uh, build stuff. And see, he should have a note explaining what happened and how... How did everything go to crap? So this is the medical bay. This is another one of those... Uh, wait a second. Wait a second. This is... Oh! Oh! Check it out! Check it... Wait, can I... Can I... Ch uh, wait a second. I think I am able to do this. Enter this and then enable extra object selection. So now I can select this and remove it. See? Do you see this? See how he added this particular piece? And no, I didn't want to do that, but it doesn't matter. But see how he added the regular uh, gate? And then he added these extra pieces. So it's so it looks like, uh, like that gate where you simply put your hands through. Like Paladin here wants to show me. Do you want to show me that, Paladin? You unlocked bastard. Impossible to control him. Let's see what is happening over here. Another door. So these two go upstairs. Okay. And what's happening here? Another kitchen. Kitchen with mutant hound chops. We got a Yao Guai roast. And a stingwing filet. A stingwing filet doesn't look very appealing. The roast looks nice. And the mutant hound chops are kind of... They are too well done. It should never be too well done. Sometimes well done is okay if it is more towards medium than actually well done. Because then it retains some sort of taste still. But it, it, when it's this well done, it, it's just, just not good, man. Very, very ugly kitchen. Which makes sense. And this is where they came to get food, right? Yes. And this is the same design as before. See, it goes through the wall, through the wall, and then it uh, actually gets the design that it wants to have, when in fact this is not actually what it should look like, because this is an actual door. So instead of, be instead of it, Paladin, stop! Instead of it being a door, it is a, a, a gate kind of thing. What is this called? I don't know what is this called at all. Like I just, you know... Team. Usually, when I don't know what is something called, I either simply forget or I don't know the Croatian word either. So if I don't know the Croatian word, I'm not gonna know the English word. And that that's the case here. It's it's like a, it's not a gate. It's more like a gate. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But we got another dead security guy here. Is this gonna open? I have to unlock it. 
here we go with the laundry room. It's actually really well done, the laundry room. I really like how it... It just makes sense, you know, that's all I can say. See, here they place the stuff. Oh, it's just... It's realistic, that's what I'm trying to say. It's realistic. See, here they sit down, they take the food. It's just very cool. What do you have here? Oh, let's just close that. Oh, Red Roach, you sneaky bastard. I like that. This is a special cage. Someone is dead inside. Now, don't drink the water. Don't drink the water, you stupid idiot. Okay, let's unlock this door as well. Maybe he has a note or something. The skeleton has nothing, but it does have a caps stash. 22 caps, that's a lot. Paladin, you don't need to be next to my ass the entire time, okay? Sweet mother of God. He's so needy. But this is actually a very, very cool idea. Having a cage all the way down here. In a separate enclosed room. Really, really well done. It just uh, it just shows you the potential of uh, modding, especially settlement building modding and location creation. <laughs> location creation! Because with the creation kit, you can create anything. You can use all of the items, all of the assets of the game and do whatever you want with them. You can create quests, create settlements, create little, little details. And it is much more in-depth compared to the actual settlement building. But it also takes five times more time to do. I mean, I assume that this took him, like, at least 50 hours to make. At least 50 hours. I mean, if he made this in under 50 hours, then I will be absolutely impressed. Because this is just amazing. Look at the size of it. And look at the... The design, just the design, you know, I'm trying to explain that the design of the prison is just really well done. It's proper. Open this door. What is this? Oh, this is the yard! Oh, it's so awesome! This is the yard. This is the most amazing thing in the, on the planet. Hey, what the hell? Paladin! Why did you... That's your fault. But look at that, it's... It's just so well done, I mean... Huh. I kinda wanna visit this prison in real life. These are the rooms. They're kinda spacious. Pretty spacious rooms, and we have a dead person here. Do you have any details on yourself? You died taking a shit, that says a lot about you. This one died sleeping. And we have the Foot Locker Coast Guard hat. See, it is possible to create something... Just, I cannot explain it, my friend. I cannot explain it to you. It is possible with the cooperation of a few people. It is possible to basically create a whole new area for Fallout. Just a huge new area for the game that would be explorable. But it would lack quests, and the quests require the most amount of time. Wait, is this the upper floor? Yeah, this is the same thing. Just on the upper floor. Huh, that's nice. So we got a bunch of uh, cells all over the place. And on this side, we have more of these locked doors. We got another way up. This is... Oh? Huh, this seems like the place where the guards can sleep, right? Because obviously the prisoners are not gonna sleep here. And this here is the armory, right? Yep, the armory. Minigun destroyer. Nice. Very nice. Let's go upstairs, Paladin. What is happening on the top floor? The roof. With this very... Very cool roof blocks. Are they even necessary? I don't even know. Doesn't matter. It is pretty cool that the roof is accessible through a door. Because it makes sense, you know, every roof should be accessible through a door. And this can go even further up. 
So what is on the topest of tops? This is the... What was that? Who did that? Don't do that. On the topest of tops is the warden's room. Dr. Virgil's file. It's empty. Why is it empty? Why would it be empty? Oh, folder, terminal. Wait, terminal, let's see. Unlock front door. Ah. So that's the... What? So that's the front door? Or is that the, the side door? This must be the side door, definitely. I like how it's clean. And see how it... It has a nice view of the sky. I mean, what can I say, man? It's just really well done. So detailed and... It, it, it kind of makes me feel bad as well. You know, because a lot of my settlements got like tens of hundreds of thousands of views and this mod has just a couple of thousand a couple of thousand people know about this mod that's just a disgrace there's this should have like 10 million i mean <sighs> it's frustrating as well you know as a person who created a shit ton of settlements it's just frustrating that it's just people don't care you know but it's not the fault of the people, it's the fault of just how things are, you know, people people generally uh, appreciate other stuff more, it's just how, how things work, you know. So, it is a pity, but such is life, you know, you can't really change how that is, but this is really amazingly done. It's just great. <laughs> what can I say, man? I think we have ex explored all of it. Although I would like to try and see if that front door is opened now. I was talking about this door here, right this one. Gotta find the terminal. Yeah, it doesn't unlock. I feel like the terminals are not working because uh, they are conflicted with a lot of other mods that I use. I think that's the reason. Probably. But look at that. Boston State Prison. Oh, it's just so nice. Oh, man. Really well done. All it lacks now is a beautiful story. A story that I could create, definitely. But then again, might be a little bit tricky. With all of my settlements, I kind of got used to developing the story while building. You know, so there's a lot of stuff that I created that already had the story but i lacked the creation and over here i have all of the creation but i lack the story and it's very realistic you know it's super realistic and it makes all of the sense so i suppose i could adjust it to fit my story definitely i could do that but i feel like adjusting it would be wrong because it's just so really, really well done. Definitely the best out of all mods that I have checked out from this mod creator. I will also try to combine my stories into his settlements. And hopefully th there will uh, be something out of it. But you know, the popularity of both Fallout and settlement building is just going down quite a bit. And I just don't know, is it worth it? Is it worth doing anymore? Not a lot of people are interested. And that is very sad. Look at the pipes for for the plumbing as well. It's just so nice. Such a nice creation. <laughs> it, <laughs> it even has a cemetery. Granary Burying Grounds. The Granary Burying Grounds were established in 1660, making it the oldest surviving burial ground in Boston. Many famous Revolutionary War heroes were buried here, including John Hancock, Paul Revere, Samuel Adams, and the victims of the Boston Massacre. In 2031, after the tragic death of Amelia Butler, the city council voted unanimously to have her remains inferred, interred, inferred, interred here, inferred. 
In in Perd. Perdy Perdy. Yes. Does it have signs on the grave? Oh, unplayable, unplayable. Look at this, unplayable. But that is all for this mod. It's just so nice. I cannot believe it. It is really, really well done. And the thought that someone would put so much effort into this just boggles my mind. Definitely check it out. Thank you for watching. Make sure to let me know if you find any more mods that I should check out. And I shall see you next time. So thank you very much for watching. I have been Petard, your glory is Lord, and may the blessings of Petard the Eternally touch your butt.